From the Cruise Radio Mobile Studio, this is Cruise News Today on Location with Doug Parker. Here's your cruise news for Wednesday, February 9th, 2022. For the first time since Norwegian's restart, the line will now allow unvaccinated kids under five to sail. However, the vaccine requirement remains in place for all guests five years and older. Effective March 1st, mask wearing will also once again become optional for NCL. And as previously announced, Norwegian will also begin requiring proof of a negative test taken at home within two days of the sailing out of a U.S. port starting on March 1st. They will no longer be testing at the pier. Prior to March, all guests will be given a COVID test at the terminal prior to boarding. More details can be found on the Cruise Line's website, ncl.com. And last week, the Cayman Island officials met with cruise line executives to discuss how cruise ships can resume sailing to the port. Topics discussed included the feasibility of testing before disembarking the ship and making Grand Cayman the first port of call on itineraries that stop there. According to the territory's tourism minister, Grand Cayman is ready to welcome cruise ships again as soon as the protocols and arrangements can be worked out. Currently, the Cayman Islands has a ban on cruise ships through February 28th, 2022. And a big congratulations. Cunard Line has announced the name of its next ship, Queen Anne. The vessel will be Cunard's 249th ship in its history and the fourth in its current fleet, which includes the Queen Mary, Queen Victoria, and Queen Elizabeth. When Queen Anne debuts, it'll be the first time since 1999 that Cunard has four ships sailing consecutively. Queen Anne will be part of the Pinnacle class, which currently includes Holland America's Koningsdam, New Stottendam, and Rotterdam. Bookings open this May, and the ship is scheduled to debut in early 2024. And cruise line stocks were up on Tuesday. Carnival Corporation up 4.8, 22.54. Royal Caribbean up 5.3, 86.32. And Norwegian up 3.8, 22.78. Breaking news and up to the minute, industry coverage at cruiseradio.net. Here aboard Carnival Liberty, enjoying our fun day at sea on a $10 cruise fare at that. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today. Cruise News Today is a production of Cruise Radio. For daily updates, subscribe to the Cruise Radio YouTube channel or visit cruiseradio.net.